Hello and welcome back to the Wholesome Witch Kitchen. We are making today a vanilla mint latte. So I love lattes. They're one of my pleasures, guilty pleasures. Um, usually I'll just have them unflavored, but once in a while it's nice to have a treat. And vanilla mint is perfect for springtime. Vanilla has great properties of beauty, passion, energy, love, and peppermint. Peppermint's one of my favorites. I use it so much. It's good for so many things, including rebirth, renewal, and cleansing. So we're going to work with those two main ingredients today. Um, we have to first make our mint simple syrup, and then we'll make the latte afterwards. So I have my ingredients here out for the syrup, and I'll go through them with you. It's really simple. It takes just a few minutes. Making mint syrup sounds like it would be hard, but it's really, really not. It's fast, it's easy, and it's well worth it. Um, if you want to include some extra things in your space, today I have vanilla incense going behind me. So you could burn vanilla peppermint, of course. You could also use chamomile or lemon balm. Um, burn a white candle, which is great for renewal and cleansing. Um, you could also have amethyst. I have my amethyst earrings on today. It doesn't have to be stones sitting on your counter. You could be wearing them as well. Um, amethyst, moonstone's really great. Peridot is great as well for renewal. I love peridot. Um, yeah, so those are some options. You don't always have to be on the nose with your complementary tools. Um, you can choose stones that go well with your intention. So if you're doing a vanilla mint latte for renewal and cleansing like we're doing today, then you could bring in other elements for balance or focus or optimism. So there's nothing on the nose. Be creative, choose things that work well together. That's what I tend to do and like to do anyways. I also do that with my food ingredients, things that balance each other, go well together. Um, yeah, so we're going to go through these ingredients and then we will get started on our syrup. Okay, so we're ready here with all of our ingredients. A uh, good rule of thumb for the mint syrup is to use a one-to-one -one ratio with your ingredients. So we have one cup of sugar, a cup of water, and about a cup of mint leaves. And then I like to add a teaspoon of vanilla bean extract into the syrup, but that's just a personal preference. I like the extra flavor it adds. Uh, optional, you don't have to use that. And then when we're ready to move on to our, you guys hear the birds, they are crazy this morning. Um, <laughs> when we're ready to move on to our latte, I have coconut milk, uh, vanilla bean paste, and cacao nibs because we're gonna sprinkle a little bit of those on top. Why not? A little bit of extra chocolate flavor in there. So for the milk, you can use any non-dairy milk. I like coconut because it's basically my favorite for lattes, at least right now. Uh, but you can use oat or almond or soy, whatever your favorite one is. Okay, um, Root Health, I'll just say real quick, is one of my favorite brands of non-dairy milks here in the UK. Uh, really simple ingredients, no added sugars, no preservatives or anything like that. So great brand to check out if you haven't already. If you're in the US or Canada, my favorite milk brands included Elmhurst and Isola Bio because they were bare minimum ingredients and the Isola Bio was also organic, which I liked. Um, okay, so that's it. We're going to get started on our syrup.
sediment has steeped and the syrup is all ready to be used. You don't have to let it cool down or anything. You can use it right away. It's good to go. And we're just going to strain it into our jar to get the mint leaves out. Um, I like to save glass jars, wash them, reuse them. I like to, in theory, take off all the labels, but I don't always get around to it before I need to dry. So this one was from Biona Organic Satan Pieces. These are delicious, by the way. Uh, jar's empty, it's clean, we're gonna use it, label or no. And let's see if I can manage to pour this without making a mess. I like this pot for things like this because it has a spout, super useful. And I'm kind of messy, so let's just see. Let's see how it goes. Managed to do it, mess free, perfect size jar for that look. You can make more or less of this. It will last for about a month, um, stored in the fridge. So you'll have a whole month to enjoy nice, minty, refreshing beverages. This is also great in something like iced tea, um, in cake, cooking with it's fantastic. Anyways, lots of uses today. We're going to make our latte. I'm super excited and uh, let's get going. So to make the latte, we are just going to combine all of our ingredients into a pot, put it on the stove to warm up and infuse the ingredients together, and then it's going to be ready to go. Now, I don't have an espresso machine. I'm calling this a latte, but it's kind of like a pseudo latte. Um, if you have an espresso machine, use two shots of espresso. Um, I think that's a good amount for this drink. I'm using leftover brewed coffee because, like I said, don't have an espresso machine, so this is how we do. Um, measurement wise, we're going to do half a cup of coffee, three quarter cup of coconut milk, a teaspoon of vanilla bean paste, two teaspoons of the mint syrup, and then we'll top with some cacao powder. And so we're gonna combine those, warm it up, and enjoy our beverage. It really comes together quickly, um, especially if you've already made your syrup, it takes like five minutes to make. So let's give it a taste. Mm -mm. Yum. Got a couple of cocoa nibs in there. So good. And you can always adjust the minty flavor. So I put two teaspoons in here. You can always put more if you want it really, really minty. Play with it, have fun. It's okay, but you have to try it a few times to get it just how you like it. Um, okay, I hope you enjoyed the recipe today. I have linked it down below. Of course, as always, you can go back to it later. And if you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like and subscribe down below. Have a good day. Bye, guys. Seriously, so good. I'm uh, super feeling ready for spring with this drink. Mmm.